I've got a great need to win. I don't participate in any sport to take part. I'm a natural born winner. At the age of nine, there was a, my dad joined the Rutherland Bowling Club for social reasons. I was coached by a man in the early days of my bowling career called Jim Patterson. Sadly, he's passed away now, but he's kind of he taught me the basics of the game, and from then on, I pretty much self-taught and practiced a lot. That was for being a junior internationalist. This is going to be my ninth year. In a row. That was for the full team, gentlemen for the professionals, so I've done that for, for four years. Um, this one year was when I actually became Scottish champion in 2011. Over here for the Glasgow, we've got the EA singles winner, that's when I was 18 years old, the youngest ever winner that one, that was five years ago in 2008. Yeah, and that's about it, for Glasgow Scottish. Recently we had a 150th anniversary and it was a great achievement. This plaque was put in memory of the people who died in the First World War and it was placed outside the club. And during the Second World War, a bomb actually landed in the club. And the, the damage here is actually shrapnel from one of the bombs. In 2007 I participated in the Atlantic Championships, uh, which obviously lots of countries surrounding the Atlantic Ocean took part in, that was a great experience. I've participated in China once and Hong Kong twice, that was for the Tiger Open and the China Open. And then in 2012 I participated in the World Championships held in Cyprus. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I think the Commonwealth Games will have a positive outlook on uh, the sport and then not everyone will be able to get tickets for the big events at the Commonwealth Games such as athletics so they might end up getting tickets for the bowls.